Uh, welcome Africa. back yes, to Jeff Kunenge Live. <laughs> yeah. We're having a great conversation with the senator from Australia, Kenyan-born Jude, uh, yeah. Kenyan-born Lucy Gashohe. I tell you, folks, if you've missed this show, if you missed part of this show, you need to catch up on YouTube because this one is one for the record books. Lucy Gashohe from a tiny little village called Herega in Nyeri County. Monica, show us that picture. What's that? Uh, a picture of? Look at that! Look at that! Look, <laughs> look at that! That's home, home. That's home, home. All the way to Australian Parliament. Where's that photo in Parliament, Monica? Where's that Australian Parliament? Uh huh. Look at that! Oh my goodness! Unbelievable! Yes. Unbelievable! And you know, uh, she did this in less than twenty years. Yes. There you go. There's, yes. there's, where is that? Where is yes, that? Yes, that is in, in, uh, parliament? in the Senate. And who are those yeah. other people? These are the people, they are the senators that are walking me in the uh -huh. parliament for my swearing. Swearing in. in. Yes. Ah, so they're welcoming yeah. you, walking you in. Yes, yes. Nice. Yes. Was it intimidating? No. It wasn't? You're the only no. black person in that room. Let's face Doesn't it, Lucy. No matter. Nobody notices. I don't remember it. Really? No, you get used. They're just people and they have issues like you do. So you don't even remember your car and you don't even remember to look at yourself. Yes. Really? Because people connect because they are human. And they do connect. You're not lying to us here, huh? Yes, they do connect. You're not kidding us, huh? I'm not kidding you. Wow. Yes. Wow. I mean, look. Uh, that's it's a society like any other. Yeah. Yes. It's incredible. So when you look around this society, first of all, if you had ran for senator in Nyeri County, <laughs> where my good friend, Ejenia, Ejenia uh, Ephraim Minor. Minor. Yes, I've already met him. Yeah, I know, I saw yes, your picture with him. Yes. It was a press conference you all did. Yes, he had a press for a yes. conference. And so we if you were running office. in his county as senator, what would be your chances? I wouldn't even dream of it. I don't think I would consider because because it's the way politics are done in Kenya. Yes. Meaning that it doesn't have room for women or someone of your caliber can be elected or what? Uh, yeah, just because I wouldn't have thought about it because of maybe just because of my mental inhibition. Maybe not because it can't happen, mm. but maybe because we are culturalized or socialized yeah. to think that it's not possible. Yeah, there's yeah. no reason why I couldn't have tried. Sure, Yeah. sure. Mm. But it would have been very difficult, if imp not impossible here. That is a choice Kenyan people make. Yeah. Because Kenyans make the choice to elect the leaders of their choice. And they get what they deserve for most part. Well, it's the results of the election. It's what they... And like you said before the break, yes. we vote for individuals. It's not parties. It's called identity politics. Identity politics. Yes. Sad. That's the way I think it is. Yes. And very ethnicized. That's it. We are divided along tribal lines. Have been always since I was born, I think. Yeah. We are divided along tribal you lines. It is a big asset. Well, that of a change, it's an asset, yes, but yeah. we uh, politicians use it to their advantage and not to the people's. You think we'll ever change? Yes, we will. Our lifetime? Yes, we, we will. And it will come very fast. You know why? Because we are now getting educated. You know, everybody is getting more wisdom. And as soon as we get more wisdom, it, the pace may not be as fast as we like, yeah. but we will get there. Yeah. Because we can't keep doing things this way and not getting what we don't want. Yes. Yeah, we keep doing things over and over again and expecting a different result. Kind of. S definition of madness. <laughs> uh, there's a good friend of mine called Wamboho. Yes. Kanoru. Mm -hmm. He's from the Kanoru Matatu Owners Association. Mm. Congratulate Madam Senator, my village mate. Tell her she's raising the profile of Madira and more so mm -hmm. the women of Nyeri. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Have you, have you felt the love out there? Have you felt? Ex uh, absolutely. Yeah. There's nothing like being home. And it gives me that energy like you get from home. It's like when you, went, you go to your grandma's and you are sitting there with her. You know that total acceptance, yeah. unconditional 
acceptance. Yes. That is when I feel when I'm in any part of Kenya. Luckily, when we, we are out there, we are Kenyans and we don't remember tribes because... Do you, okay, do you hook up? Do you meet you Kenyans? Yeah, we do have yeah. a Kenyan association, mm -hmm. an association of Kenyans in Australia. You do? And Africans, more the Africans yes, and also the Kenyans. So the yeah. Kenyans, so let's say uh, Madaraka Day, Mashujaa yes, Day, yes, Jamburi yes. Day. We, we get together and celebrate. Yeah. Yes. Um, when you were at the uh, University of Nairobi the other day, mm -hmm. what did you tell the kids? that they need to get over their tribal mentality and behave like global kids. Yes. Did they get it? <laughs> they have no choice, but they will get it. Yeah. The world is a globe now. Yeah. And the yes, world is we are in a globe of village. Yes. And those tribal things. One time, we came back here with my husband and our three daughters. They were quite young. It was 2007 stroke 2008 election. You tough remember time. that tough Terrible time? Terrible time. But before that, mm. so this is the first time my daughters had Kikuyu Luo campaign kind of thing. Yes. And one of our daughters came and said, Mom, are we Luos or Kikuyus? <laughs> and I told them, you are Africans and don't get that thing in your head. Yes. We, you know. Yes. Because someone had told her out there. They, they were here. It was all over. It was everywhere. Yes. So the news everywhere was Luo Kikuyu kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, Mom, are we Luo so Kikuyus? And I said, you are Africans. Don't even think about it. Absolutely. So you see, yeah. when we are out there, we are even Africans. We are not even Kenyans. It's big. It's African. Yeah. Like you say, we are blacks. Yes. Now, if we start going to that village kind of mentality, how more scarce, you know, how more low do you want to go? So we need to think about ourselves as human, as individuals. And it's what we think about ourselves that count, not what other people say. Because it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't what matter they what say. they say. I yes. like that. Exactly. I like that. Yes. And the wings to fly. Yes. I mean, goodness. And these are kids, you know, the poorest of the poor yeah. who have gotten that opportunity because they're bright kids. Yeah. Thanks to James Mwangi and the folks at Equity exactly. and MasterCard, right? Yes, yes. What was it like talking to them? Oh, it was very humbling. And what was humbling is when I saw one of the pictures of the kids explaining how she was getting her book out of, under, from under her bed to read. And I thought, you know what? That doesn't look very strange. It's something I could have done or something maybe I did. I remember going to, to sit at my, grandmother, my grandmother's house and I liked going there during the holidays so that I can get the time to read. As a firstborn in a family of eight, like you say, even when it came to exams, mm. you don't have the time or the luxury of even the space where you can sit and just concentrate to read for your O levels or whatever exams are coming up so i used to go to my grandmother's and i remember studying in one of the places where the cows used to stay but there was a loom by the side and i really made it nice yeah. i could read in that loom the whole day so it gave me the space to think read yes. and i i still miss that oh <laughs> my god what do you tell the kids who didn't attend this what do you tell kids out there who are looking at you uh, for the very first time, watching you on TV from across this nation and across this region, and they're saying, my goodness, this woman, what do I need to do to be her when I grow up? Just keep dreaming. You don't have to figure out how. Just dream and keep dreaming because, once again, all dreams are varied, and I mean all in capital letters. Yeah. Yes, that's all you have to do. And then keep working on what you can control. Because a lot of things you cannot control. Now, forget about what you can't control. Yeah. Just focus on that ritual that you can control or that within what you can do now. Absolutely. Yes. Monica, let's go to some, we're going to go to some SMSs because this is a live TV show and everything's coming in real time. Yes. And lots of response to you. So let's, <laughs> yes. should we do that, Monica? Yes. Stand by. Yes, yeah, Exactly. By. Uh, Monica, what do we have? SMSs, text me, Lucy Gaviria. Huh? You say, oh. congratulations, Lucy Moringo. That's your other name. Yes, Moringo. yes, yes, yes. On being the first African senator in Australia, I will always remember our interactions when life was tough in Nairobi. The sky is the limit. Good luck. You know this woman? Lucy Gaviria? Gaviria. Uh, 
She says, I remember when when life was tough in Nairobi. <laughs> you must know her. Yes, I must know her. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank yes. you, Lucy. Lucy to Lucy. Ken Boy from Nakuru say, it is great that our Kenyan sister found favor over Europeans, Aborigines, etc. in the far distant Australia. You know, let's face it, land of Aborigines, and they were discriminated against for many decades and centuries. I know. And that's why I keep bringing up this black yeah. issue. Mm. You don't see it. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's not. Colonialism didn't happen because it was black. It wasn't white to black issue. It was a geographical issue. So it could have been anyone. I don't think it was a color issue. I think it was a geographical uh. issue. Yeah. Pamela Karimi from Ishiara. You say, Honorable Lucy Kishore has really motivated and encouraged me. I am joining Flinders University in Adelaide in July 2018. I would really love to meet her once I'm in Australia. Yep. She'll get my number and she can call me when she gets there. Do you know this place? Mm. Flinders? Yeah, yeah, yes. You yes. know it? Yeah, I know the university. Okay. Yes. So she should get in touch with you when she gets there? Yes, yes. I'll ask whoever... Is connected to give her my number. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. We're gonna give you Senator's number. Well yes. done. Jomo Gigi from Mukuroini. Lucy Gashuri's story is very inspiring to Kenyans who may be limiting their potential to local confines, oblivious to the fact that the world is a global village. Exactly what you yeah. said. Or as you would say, global village. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Katebi's Saddam Kibet, you say? Another Kenyan daring and roaring abroad. Congratulations, Lucy, for flying our flag higher. Sooner or later, we shall be hearing President <laughs> Lucy after Obama. Hungara. All dreams are varied. <laughs> Watch this space. Dylan Nyariki, you say, indeed, the Australian senator is a real inspiration to we, the youth, who are laying our foundation now. Patience, determination, and hard work pays. That's no doubt, no doubt, yeah. no doubt. Alex Russell, you say, very inspiring indeed, teaches me one can start from nothing to something despite your background. Yes, it again. Tony Gitonga, her humble beginning notwithstanding, she teaches every Kenyan that hunger for achievement, courage to venture out, ambition and confidence in self is all one needs for greatness, not favors, godfathers, etc. You are a role model. Good. Well done, well done, well done. So a couple of Facebook posts. Abib Abdi, she is so humble and honest, wonderful, watching from Hergesa in Somaliland. Mm. Hergesa, Salimia Watua, Hergesa, all the way in Somaliland. Brian Butende. The senator is really an inspiration, not only to Kenyans, but the whole of Africa and the whole world at large. Where we come from does not have to define our destination. We love you, Senator. Wow. David Koske, with determination and focus, anyone can get where he, she wants to be, no matter what. Carol Ryan. She is so pleasant, intelligent, humble, and positive. Mm. We need more women like her. Amen. Amen. One final one from Mukaria Jr. Assertiveness is the hallmark of success. Only an assertive person can express his, her thoughts, feelings, and beliefs with courage and confidence. When you get messages like this, yes. how does that make you feel? How about I just feel humbled and honored and glad because all I wanted to do is to inspire one more person to get over their circumstances and move on with life as long as they are alive. Yeah. Mm. Ahmed Mohammed, mm -hmm. they call him the mayor of Isili. Mm -hmm. He says, whether she says rivalry or lively, <laughs> accent or lack of it is not a parameter for intelligence. <laughs> I'm proud of Senator Gishuhi. Remember, Australia is the land of the Aborigines. Yes. We're proud of you. I mean, you have just broken all kinds of barriers. Yes. All kinds. Yeah. I mean, did you think growing up in Nyeri, tiny, he, he, what's, what's that village? Hilega. Oh, Hilega. Yeah. <laughs> did, did you think, did you ever imagine? No. All I remember is just our 
father and mother protected us from any, you know, thinking of like we are neg inferior. Victim mentality wasn't even allowed at home. No. It's like, what's your problem? Get over it. W what does your father think of you now? <laughs> I think he must be a very proud dad. Does he understand <laughs> what you have become? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think he has it, eh. but I don't. Yeah. I don't know what... Yeah, the villagers, yeah. the villagers come and tell me, eh, eh, Rusi, ni atu, ekira sen eta. So he thinks it's probably in Nairobi. Yeah. No, he knows. He's very, he's still very intelligent. Yeah. He knows, yeah. but... Um, There's a picture. Is that, his, is that him over there? Yes, yeah, that is my... <laughs> that is him. How old is he? 87. Oh, he just... Oh, nice. Yes. Very he's nice. a twin. You know, he's an identical twin. All right. And he's <laughs> always with his twin brother. Is that... Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> they are very intelligent. Yeah. No, yes. All right. Yes. Speaking of intelligence, I think we have some guests here who we welcome. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Karibuni, yes. Karibuni. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Oh, yes. Mr. Gishui. Thank you. Thank Good you. to see you, my friend. Yes. Good evening. This is Agnes. Yes. Agnes. How old are you? Second daughter, 25. 25. Have yes. a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Yeah. You, see, you see, she didn't say, she didn't say rivalry or... or, or <laughs> No. This one went to Australia when she was four years old, oh, so she speaks very, very Australian. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have understand me sometimes. Really? Yeah. Oh, shame. <laughs> Mr. Ishoi. Evening, sir. How are you? I'm very good. You guys have done incredibly well. Thank Congratulations, you. Congratulations, all of you. You Thank make you. us all proud. Thank you for that. And the fact that you all keep coming back home, that's even better. <laughs> Thank you. Was it tough in the beginning? I heard you had a tough time in the beginning, adjusting to life in Australia. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Adjusting to a new culture, yeah. a new system. Yeah. And, um, you know, having, you know, being a man who been spoiled in this culture. <laughs> in Kenya. <laughs> yes. In yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. The kitchen is a no-go zone in this country. For a man, that yes. is. Yes. And then you get there, all of a sudden, you realize uh, there's not much choices now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so adjusting to that, uh, yes. I think, took a bit of time. Yeah. But, then, mm. but then it was underpinned by a conviction that it was going to work. And that, I think, helped a lot. I was asking the senator earlier on, I mean, after a couple of years, did you think, you know what, this is not working, guys. Let's go back home. Did, did that cross your mind? I can't deny yes. <laughs> but, then, but then again, yeah. it was a one-way ticket. <laughs> and, so it would have been and, difficult and, to and, go back and, home. And the reality of the situation is we couldn't even afford to come back home, yes. even if we wanted, because it was a one-way ticket. Yeah. Yes. Agnes. So you were there, you, you arrived in Australia as a six-year-old? As a six-year-old, yep. Do you remember any of that? Uh, it was like 20 years ago, so no. You I remember the experiences, I remember what it was like, but not specific memories, yeah. no. So what was it like as a kid growing up, as an African kid? As an African kid. I didn't look at myself like an African kid. I just looked at myself like a six-year-old, trying to make friends, trying to grow up, trying to be mischievous, yeah. all of that Was stuff. it fun? Yes and no, because there's a lot of complications when you're immigrating into Australia. In 1999, that was a different time than you are here, you know. You have social media, which, like, represents, like, young black girls in a different way. Mm -hmm. But back then, you kind of had to make an identity for yourself. Mm -hmm. So it was totally a different experience. Yeah, because you had no black friends. Or few. <laughs> and my sisters. These were your black that was friends. It. That was it. I had four friends, black friends, and then all of them came later on. So it was a completely different experience from what it is now. But yeah. I wouldn't change it for the world because it, you know, made me who I am. It st instilled all those values and stuff yeah. from these guys. What so. are you doing now? Well, you have to see. You have to follow <laughs> me on Twitter and social media. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the young senator in the making, Dad. That's that's what we do. That's like what we do. So, you want to be like Mom when you grow up? I want to be better than her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to be the president. All right. That's that's what we got. The prime minister. You know. You always have to one up your parents, yes, right? Yes. Yes. Um, no, no, no. But I'm extremely proud, and whatever I can accomplish in her footsteps, and whatever we can do as a family, yeah. is yeah. It will be Mr. Mr. Are you proud of your wife? I mean, it's an obvious question, but are you proud of this woman? I am super proud uh, to a point that at times I get scared because <laughs> when, she, when she said that she was going to go for this, I said deep in myself, I said, I think you're trying to climb Mount Kenya bare feet. <laughs> uh, with only a bottle of water for all your provision. No, seriously. This we were all like, yeah, yeah, okay. Send yeah. it, all right, yeah, yeah. all right. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I know she can soar like an eagle, but this time aloud, I thought, there are no skies to sow, <laughs> so uh, I think this is not going to work. Yeah. But she kept on surprising us, 
every bit of the way. And uh, yeah, we're super proud of her. Yeah. Um, and I think she taught all of us a, a very big lesson mm -hmm. that uh, what you set your mind to do, and with determination, courage, and conviction, it can happen. You can achieve. You can actually climb Mount Kenya bare feet. Senator. Yes. How much support have these people been to you? A million and one. Super proud because, like I say, every time I dis make a decision. What Lily gives me an inner compass is when I think of my daughters. And I think of them when they are in my, at my age, what do I, do I want them to be doing? Yeah. And I go by that. So they have been the backbone of the inner compass. As for my husband, William, we met when we are basically toddlers. And I mean, not toddlers, we were in uni. But we've, all, we've made each other. I'm who I am because of him. And I believe he's who he is because, because of me. Of you. Yeah. And so then, yeah, and then look at these ones. They want to do be a little <laughs> better than mom. It's incredible. <laughs> exactly. It's incredible. Yes. So it's incredible. Exactly. And the others are the same. Oh. They are um, more independent. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm a little low, but yeah. I don't want to. I don't yeah, want to do much. So, so <laughs> mom talks to you in Kikuyu a lot, uh, yeah. does she? She uh, doesn't hold back. It is when you get disciplined, it's the Kikuyu way, not the Australian you, you understand it then? I understand it better than I can speak it, but I can still understand And when you it. go to Hegera Village, mm -hmm. what's it like with your cousins and... Do I go? Yeah, that's, that's the real question. I'm trying to navigate my way out of it. But like, I still like to go in yeah, there. It's, yeah. still, it's still home at it's the home. end of the day. Mm -hmm. If anything happens, you come back to Kenya. You yeah. come back to Nyeri. So yeah. it's still home. It's, yeah. Yeah. William, what do you miss most about Kenya? What's the one thing? I think uh, the top of the list there is the sense of community mm -hmm. uh, in this country. Yeah. It is a very big asset for this country and people may not be aware until you step out there and you find uh, Australia is very friendly, it's very good, but it's still a bit of an individualistic, you sort of mind your own sort of business. Whereas in this country, it's all community, it's a very big sense of community. Honestly, I yeah. missed that. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, good point, yeah. very good yeah. point. Mm. Senator, what do you miss most? Other Same. than the, the Ugali you mentioned in some story, <laughs> at Ugali and Yamatoma, that you can get in Australia. Yes, built on but they are still yeah. fake, they are not <laughs> <laughs> fake in Yamatoma. Yeah. I, I still miss yeah community i still miss that drop-in culture i just want to be sitting at home and mom opens the door or my sister opens the door without a notice i say ah, i'm here and she's not in a hurry to leave my sister my friends anybody i miss that in western culture you have to call and say i will come at this time yeah. and i will leave at this time <laughs> and they will ask do you want me to cook for you or something yeah. it's really straightforward it's it's good it has its own place but i miss just the usual my sister comes in without notice does whatever she does in my house as though it is her house she you know that yes. kind of yes. laid back i miss that a lot yeah. yes agnes do you miss Anything about Kenya when you're out there? When I'm out there on another oh, planet. Down and down or somewhere <laughs> that you place. Know, wherever we are. Yeah. Um, I don't I think I have a lot of access to the stuff that I would miss. Yes. So it's like yeah. Um, but now I'd say the culture is the biggest thing. You yeah. can't replace that, you can't duplicate that. There's nothing like the Kenyan culture. Yeah. Would you want to come back? I would. I yeah. would. Yeah. I, I would actually think about it. I've been thinking about coming back. Yeah. And your siblings, what do they think? Would they want to come back? Yeah. They would rather they speak up. We have to westernize it a little bit. Sure, but sure, sure. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Um, I think we'd all come back. Like I said, it's home. If anything happens in Australia, this is where we come back to. This is home for us. This is where we raise our kids, where we get our culture, who we look like. So you, can, you can't replace that for anything. No, you can. No, you, you can. can. William, would you want to come back? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. And I will. Eventually. Eventually. Retirement. I will retire in this yes. country. Yes. That's, a, that's, a, that's a goal. But it's something that we have to work around. In between. Uh, uh, one of the things we have to work uh, is to regain our citizenship. Oh, that's easy. We have dual citizenship now. <laughs> Don't worry. That, that, oh, <laughs> Senator will talk to the boss. She was with him the other day. <laughs> oh, man. We know people. That's done. Yes. done. You too. You too. Yeah. Agnes will be helping you. Yes. Listen, there was yes. this young Kenyan lady in Australia called Esther Arunga.
Mm. You guys heard the story. Mm. Yes. So she went there and she mm. with her husband or boyfriend, whatever, mm. and there's some case, mm. some child died. Mm. Do, do, do you know her? Have you, yeah. uh, you, you followed the case? You saw, follow I think the case. It's still yeah. an ongoing case. Correct, yeah, correct. Yeah. And what time is that Brisbane or what part of Australia? Yes. Melbourne? It's Queensland. It's in Brisbane. In Brisbane. In Queensland. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Sad story, eh? Very, very sad. Very, very sad. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> what a shame. Very sad. Once again, human beings suffer, I think, mental breakdowns yeah. and stress issues yeah. and yes yeah she was good yes. people too we hope yes. she comes back home one day yeah yes, yes, um uh, we don't hear much from australia i must confess yeah australia is never much in the news in yes. these parts mm. is africa ever in the news where you people are yeah we we yeah? get it yes it yeah. is you, you hear a lot of stuff exactly yeah. we no, hear not the corruption or the the the, uh, yeah. the, the famines and stuff <laughs> but do you hear real stories we do yeah because we have sbs Yes. Remember ah, the yeah. world news, yeah. SBS, yes, yeah. and report news around the group. We see the weather. Yeah, it's there on a regular basis. Okay. If there's something, we get the news on the SBS and even Australian broadcasting. Yeah, ah, yeah. Fantastic. So you don't miss home as much as before. What there is with all the social media, yeah. we are more connected yeah, real to time. home, and we are now on real time yeah. to home yeah. yeah okay when people hear you're from kenya whether yes. it's in parliament or in the streets or when you're socializing they say oh man those people are so corrupt man, man <laughs> what's wrong with you people we haven't told them yet yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh do they turn around and say oh kenya marathon runners you guys are exactly champions. and yeah. the game parks and yes and everybody wants to come to kenya really yes everybody wants to come to kenya yeah, it's Kenya exactly, exactly held it's held at very high, high regard, exactly yes, really. yeah. yes. Yeah. so game parks good culture and yeah. everybody wants to come to nairobi good. yes particularly because uh, the, the 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 kenyans who are in australia have been very good ambassadors of kenya they have behaved very well yeah they have been they have integrated very well mm -hmm. with the australian community mm -hmm. um they have been you know and and it goes back to pretty much how they, 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 they migrated into that country in the yeah. first instance because yeah. most of them are professionals or students who went there to study and then they transitioned into permanent residency. So you got this almost very elite group of you know community of people who are very law abiding. Yeah. They are professional and they are contributing to the Australian economy uh, very well. It's actually a very elite community. Oh. And um, it's little wonder that uh, you know when the senator was uh, door knocking and yes. uh, uh, that image is there with you know with Australians because it's a it's a good image, and uh, her sentence now to the Senate has lifted that profile even higher. Wow. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, no, no, Kenyans have been very good. They haven't embarrassed us there. Yeah, there is not a single Kenyan in jail in an Australian jail, for example. Is that not right? Not one single one. Yes. So they behave. Yeah, they behave. And the law is very strict, though. The very law is very strict. Yeah. Yes. You know, these are sort of uh, measures of uh, the quality of a community. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. What's the best part for you, Agnes, about being there? The best part? The best part. Um, oh, what's the best part? Mm. The independence. Oh. <laughs> the independence. I think when you're young, it's when you're about like 17, 18, it's, you get independent very quickly. But of course, that comes with responsibilities. But... Um, I'd say the independence, being able to have your own job, run your own system, and yeah, it's Drive the best part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When she talks, sometimes do you not do you find it hard understanding her? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm also Agnes. Yeah, I'm what saying, did you say? I'm saying, I'm saying, yes. I'm sure <laughs> half of half of Kenya is saying, "Hey, who you?" I I have that all the time with her and her sisters. Yes. It's like, what did you got there? Tanda ka ha ha. Not that bad. Yes. Where, where is it? <laughs> and they get busy. Mom, if I can't understand, speak English. <laughs> so what do you mean I speak English? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nyeri is not English, my dear. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Senator. Yes. Um, there's a um, a woman here. I'm sure you know her. Orie Rogomanduli. You've heard the name. Yes. Orie Rogomanduli. Yes. First woman rally driver. She was an ambassador. Yeah. Uh, anyway, she's very famous. Yes. She says, this Kenyan star, Senator Lucy, is our pride and joy. A role model par excellence. 
not those cheap copycats of everything foreign. <laughs> I love her authenticity. <laughs> Spot on. Yes. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yes. Senator, I'm going to have you look at that camera over there. This is it camera one, Monica? Which? This camera over here. Mm -hmm. And give us some final thoughts going forward. Yes. Final thoughts. There's mm -hmm. millions of people watching you right now. Yes, yes, yes. Go on. What do you tell them? I would tell Kenyans to be proud of themselves be proud of where they are and be patient with themselves and as Kenyans as we build this nation and we prepare ourselves for the global stage. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> prepare yourself for the global stage. <laughs> Love it. One step at a time. Yes. One day at a time. One accent at a time. One <laughs> accent at a time. One tribe at a time. <laughs> Senator, we're proud of you. Thank you. William, you too. Well done. Yes. Well done. You yes. stood by her. Yes. And you guys, you did it. And look, look at the results. Exactly. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah. One third. One third of yeah, exactly. They are three times me. <laughs> well done. Well done. Yes. We're proud of, I'm going to sign my book for you guys. Is that okay? Yeah, brilliant. But you yeah, declare it. As soon as you arrive in <laughs> Adelaide, declare that book. I don't want them coming after me. Exactly. Eh? <laughs> oh, oh, uh. oh, exactly. <laughs> Thanks yes. so much for being a part of the show. It's been incredibly inspiring. Thank you. I hope you've learned as much as we have here that anyone's dream can be valid. Look at Senator Lucy Gishui. Look at her family. Look what they've achieved in less than 20 years. How about that? Proud, proud to be Kenyan, Australian, Kenya, Australian, Austro-Kenyan, whatever you want to call it. Just proud. Thanks so much. Keep tweeting Thank at you. Senator Lucy, at Kunanga Jeff, at Citizen TV Kenya with the hashtag JK Live. Now, tomorrow morning on Jeff and Jalas on Hot 96, join us from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. for the best radio show on the continent, Banan Wailai. Tomorrow only on Hot 96. Thanks so much for being a part of the show. Good night. Good luck. God bless everyone here and down under. Good day, mate. Is that what they say? Good day, mate. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Did I get it? Did I get it? Yeah. Look, good. Agnes is laughing. She's laughing. Good day, mate. Don't forget that. Well done, Senator. Well done.